Uh, hello, I want to show you a technique that I use to uh, draw parts of, of an image and for that part I'm uh, going to align this image to my stage make sure that this is pressed down and as you can see my image is uh, aligned to the top left corner of my stage and let me show you it's in my library so if I accidentally delete my image I can still find it here that's my image so anyway if I just accidentally delete it or just corrupt it I can always drag it back and use the align tool to align it back so that's that's actually what I like in Macromedia anyway let's call it a background background layer and I'm going to work I'm going to log this layer and I'm going to work uh, on this layer so I'm going to create a rectangle without uh, actually without a fill and I want to cut cut out these trees so what I'm going to do is I just I'm holding down the control key to draw another node and I'm going to do this real quick because I don't really have time for this video or the bandwidth and to draw nodes I hold the control key and as you can see I'm just getting getting over the the lines I'm gonna I'm sorry but I'm 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 going to do it real real quick one and we can turn off the magnet for a uh, better precision okay so that's that's my shape basically and I'm going to just fill it with the uh, green let's pretend that it's something that I <laughs> that I <laughs> that looks like a tree anyway I'm double clicking the shape I'm cutting it I will choose this layer and I'm going to paste it in place I use the shortcut key but uh, which is control shift V and uh, I will select this layer and I will just fill it with with green or with uh, any other different color and I'm taking my shape again I'm cutting it I'm going to this layer again and I'm pasting it in place so now uh, when I'm selecting it I will just delete it and voila that's our image I'm double clicking to select the entire shape again I'm going to the locked first of all I need to unlock the layer I'm unlocking the layer where my background image is I'm pasting it in place oh, I'm sorry I forgot to break let me just delete it I made a little mistake which is I have to break my image first break apart now you can see I select part of my image and again I will paste my background in place and I'm just deleting it so for example uh, if I want to create it a symbol let's call it symbol let me just drag let me just drag a uh, my uh, image from the libra uh, library I will use the let me just align it like it should be and I'm going to put it on this layer okay you see this is my symbol and this is my original image and now what I'm going to do is I'm just I'm 
I'm I'm picking my symbol here and what I'm going to do is just I'm choosing some filters in here and I can I don't know just glow it or I can drop shadow or just just the color of it for example let's get rid of it and that's that's basically how I used to manipulate and uh, to manipulate the picture yeah some nice halo effect you see if I remove it if I paste it in place and um, well basically that's it thank you for watching I hope to see you again